So this is going to be a Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Iron as well, Rising, Weekly Career Tower Reading, December 23rd to December 29th. Uh, 2019 and um, if you are interested guys in getting in touch with me or you want to check out your law of uh, weekly, weekly tarot readings for that very same week you can uh, take a look at the description down below of this video and there you're gonna find a, a link both for my website and as well a, a link towards your other weekly uh, video and that being said moving into the career tarot reading for the week now the first card which represents the very topic of your career week sagittarius this is going to be the five of wands followed by the next one here which stands as the energies which are supporting the topic we do have the nine of swords followed by the third one which represents the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week Career-wise, that is going to be the Empress card, Follow, followed furthermore by the gifts and the blessings that uh, the week itself is going to uh, offer you. That is going to be the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, afterwards, we do have how people sees you, how your co-worker sees you, how your boss sees you, how your supervisor sees you. That is going to be the Page of Cups. Followed by the uh, sixth one, which is what is going to help you to manifest your long term goals. Uh, that is going to be the page of wands. Afterwards, we do have uh, what is going to hurt your long term goals. Uh, this is going to be the sun card. And the last one, that is the guidance, uh, which Taro is offering to you. We do have the eight of uh, cups. Okay. So uh, quite of an, an interesting and quite dynamic a, a, a second to last week uh, of a career development for you. And what a way to finish the, the year career-wise, really. So uh, first of all, we do have these two. We are going to interpret them together because they are tightly linked. Uh, the topic and the energy is feeding up the topic. So... Uh, well, how can I put it? Like I said, the week itself is going to be very dynamic on enterprises, on tasks and endeavors as well, career wise. And uh, <clears throat> literally the success is going to be anybody's guess. Uh, that is due to the fact that there are to be many uh, unforeseen surprises that you and the company you're working at or the business you're working for uh, is going to experience throughout the week and uh, it will depend on how mm, tricky you are and, uh, to, to take the, the most out of it because it seems that with the energy here one of those uh, dynamical situations or dynamic situations are going, to, are going to present you with an options to save the day or rather like to um, reverse the course of a, uh, a futile effort, for example, into a beneficial effort or to save certain project. But it's going to involve a, a lot of risks. In other words, there will be a, um, how can I say it, a consequences that needs to be faced once you decide if you, of course, decide to take um, advantage, you know, of this gift of the gods, if you will, to uh, dictate or to alter the negative outcome of a certain plans, once again, projects or situations in general in regarding a career. Now, one more thing here, it is that you may face certain criticism from your co-workers or from your boss or, you know, clients, for example, and so on and so forth. And uh, it's criticism for a couple of things. Now, the first one, it is because there are a significant I would say difference in between the ideas you both have and as well it is because the sight, the vision, the perspective is different in between you two and uh, just so you know here in that particular case it is that uh, you both can extract the positive aspect of both ideas and form one grand one that it, it will unite everybody under the common banner. So the other card that we do have, it refers to the challenges you need to uh, face, and that is the Empress card. Like said, um, quite dynamical week. And at, at some point, Sagittarius, you are going to 
feel like you are caught in the stream and you have no room to differentiate in any way around. Now with the Empress, however, uh, it will be challenging for you to maintain your core, to maintain your calmness and your uh, self-control, if you will. That is for reason being is that many of those uh, dynamic enterprises and dynamic situations, it will require your uh, very well found and mature firm decision making. And uh, if you are rather more passionate than professional, there is a, a quite big chance that you can blow away a, a tremendous opportunity coming in your way. Um, like said, you know, one of those dynamic situations, it will offer you salvation in your career, in your project and so on and so forth. Another thing with uh, the Empress here, it is that you may think that uh, what is happening around you, it's rather a has more negative than positive impact and that just you want to live through it and you know forget about it at all but the thing is with the empress it is that right now it's a very important vital time to build up a solid long-term plan for your future career development and that is going to be challenging for you to do as well considering the dynamic and that everything is going to pull you in different directions so the gifts and the blessings that the week is offering to you mm, that will be the Wheel of Fortune and it's pretty much, uh, that is the big brother of the Five of Wands really and it does point that one of those, uh, that you are going to be gifted by a rare, by a uh, once in a lifetime opportunity. That, that is literally the gift and another, the other gift, it is that the, um, the dynamic, it's not the dynamic, the, the slog or the busyness that you are going to be very, very busy throughout the week. Uh, will produce significant results. Literally what the card here points is that the grace you are going to be surrounded with uh, gives you the option to be successful in everything you deal with throughout the week with the Wheel of Fortune. The luck is at your side and you are also going to be blessed with holding up the rule of your own personal ship so you can set sail wherever you want to, okay, or to whatever shore uh, you want to. So literally as a gift and blessings here, the, um, the Wheel of Fortune points that with that dynamic, you have no limits. And uh, this is why probably you need to uh, start planning your long-term career, career development throughout this week, um, contrary to the expectations or to, or to the awareness that you are in the murky waters. Now, the other card, it is uh, referring of how people sees you. Uh, and uh, your co-workers, boss, people you are applying in front of for a job and so on and so forth. So we do have the Page of Cups and uh, it's actually quite a positive card for you, Sagittarius. Now, people are seeing you very flexible when it comes to change, that you do learn from experience. That is the biggest thing with the Page of Cups. Also, people see you as that you are in craving your so into the things you do, that you do care, that you are emotionally attached to your projects, to the job itself. You may not be, you may not care, but that doesn't matter. It, all that it matters is that you are making that impression that you do care, meaning that, <clears throat> You know, people may entrust you with a bigger tasks, bigger goals, which leads to bigger salary and bigger positions. But also the page points that people are going to see you as a ready for a bigger challenges. And that's why you may expect probably at the very early 2020 to be involved into rather more uh, broader projects or a broader deeds that your company is planning to do. Important thing here it is that whatever the company is trying to position you at, to accept that position and not try to resist it. Now the other card represents what is going to help your long-term goals and that is a, a plagiarism. Uh, there will be someone around you that will have a, a pretty kind of unique idea or a, a, a unique invention, I, I would say, like a, a, weak way, a, a unique way of how to tackle with things. The thing is that this person, the Page of Wands, uh, doesn't have the experience or the skills to incorporate it. They just only have the idea, but you do have the skills. So it's like, again, plagiarism. You're taking their idea and you're executing it 
on your own. And by doing so, Sagittarius, you are going to get one step closer to founding a, a private business, should that be your goal. Because with the page, um, you will also become aware of your personal strengths or that you are much more stronger on your own than working for someone else. Another thing with the Page of Wands, that is uh, the unique way of tackling with things. And uh, you may kind of like find yourself a bit poignant or despondent, uh, that is, uh, following foreign orders, alienated orders, you know, following a, an alien rules. Now, the other card is what can, uh, I'm sorry, uh, what can hurt your long-term career goals or long-term career development? We do have the Sun card and the Sun card points to overconfidence at that particular position and uh, rushing or pushing to obtain a bigger energies of growth than the current situation allows to, okay? That is exactly what is gonna hurt your um, is gonna hurt your future career development. So uh, the formula of overcoming this obstacle it is to assess very carefully: is the place you are at right now can give you your um, natural and can offer you the natural career unfoldment you require, and if it doesn't. Well, I think it's time for you to look around for a, another job. And uh, the last card, it is about the guidance the Tarot is offering to you. We do have the Eight of Cups. And that is another card pointing that you do need a change of scenery. Maybe not right now, but at least you will sh or you should start looking around if you will, just so you can have a plan B in case, you know, you're not satisfied with the results you get from that current job. Uh, but the Eight of Cups, it does uh, point that if nothing new happens soon, I mean, in the current job you are, or no new perspectives opens there, well, you have to start looking them, those new perspectives elsewhere. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly career tarot reading, December 23rd to December 29th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And once again, if you do want to get in touch with me for a, a personal reading, you can check out the description down below where you're going to find the link to my website. And the other link you're going to find there, it is a toward... It's going to lead you straight away to your love and relationship tarot reading for that very same week. And I hope that we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.